Hi guys, learning activity 5. We're going to find out how to format data types. Data is simply the little bits of information that you've put on your spreadsheet, such as the boys' names, that's data, or the date of birth of each and every one of them, that's data, or their age, or how much pocket money they receive. Everything on a spreadsheet can be classified as data in one way or the other, okay, or categorized for that matter. To do this, you need to look at the data. For instance, boys we have their names here the data types are in this box here right here where it says general i want you to look up here if you click the drop down menu you have the different data types you have general number currency accounting short date long date time percentage fraction and scientific don't worry about general don't worry about percentage or fraction or scientific for now for the purposes of what we're doing or accounting for that matter okay we're going to focus on number currency short date or long date that is what you're gonna need for what we're doing or maybe time but you might not need that so for the purposes of what I'm doing I'm going to look at boys the names of the boys so I'm going to go to general and I'm going to choose what do you think let me scroll down there's text here okay so you must scroll down it's text right here text means writing alphabets okay so I'm going to choose text and Excel recognizes that as text then I'm gonna move on to date of birth so if I highlight it I'm gonna go and move to date and I'm gonna scroll down and think date of birth what will that be it probably be a date either short date or long date so I'm going to choose short date because I don't want anything long okay so I'll choose short date or if I wanted to I could have chosen long date and as you can see it changes then I'll move to age age is a number just as you see it so if you move to the drop down menu you can simply choose number now please pay attention to what has happened here Excel has automatically added two decimal places to it we don't need no decimal places so I'm going to move my cursor to this button here which says increase decimal or the second one says decrease decimal I'm going to decrease one two and that removes the two decimal places I'll highlight all of them decrease bear with me one second decrease the decimals so now I have my age as a number but with no decimals and then I'm going to move on to pocket money okay now this is money so I'm going to go to general and I'm going to choose currency as you can see their money we have the notes and the coins select that and as you can see the automatic pound sign is added to it okay however guys please remember you can choose these decimals if you want or you can take them out it's entirely up to you and that is how you format data so you're gonna go now to your spreadsheet you're gonna sit down you're gonna look at it and you're gonna think about what data you have on there and how best you can format it so please go and do it now thank you very much